Hey, it's Patrick here from Metrics Engineering. This is the first of a series of videos of getting Modbus TCP data into Ignition SCADA. This first video is on the MOXA E1240, which can either be 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamp across 8 channels. So I've already gone ahead here and set up the device with an IP and I've opened the device and changed the jumpers over for all channels to change it from 0 to 10 volt to 4 to 20 milliamp. Now I'm only using the first channel here, channel 0, and I've also gone into the device configuration within the MOXA software and scaled it from 4 to 20 milliamps to a scale of 0 to 100 percent. So that's everything done in the MOXA side of things. It's now time to go into ignition. So just remembering the IP here, 192.168.1.234 and we come into our devices and create a new device, Modbus TCP, go next, give it a name, I'm going to call it E1240, don't need a description and the host name is that IP that's set up, port 502 is the default for Modbus TCP Connection timeout of 2 seconds is OK. Create that device and we should see true connected. The next thing to do is to create some tags. So for that, um, I'm going to jump across a tab here and I'm going to come down into OPC connections. No, nope, sorry, that's next. Um, go into more addresses and I'm going to add a row. And I'm going to prefix the first one, Modbus Analog Input Underscore. Start at zero, end at zero, creating one tag. And if I jump back into the Moxa software and go into the default addresses, we see that for a scaled value, it's a float. And it's a 04 input register, read, and starts at 30,009 and it's two words. So going back into Ignition Gateway um, we want to set that up as an input register float and we drop the first digits and all we enter here is a 9 and save that I'm also then going to add another row and that's going to be for US for unscaled again starting at 0, 0 creating one tag and that is going to be an input register uint16 starting at 1 and just jumping back into the MOXA software so starting at 1 for the raw value and it's one word starting at 9 for the scaled float value which is two words so if I go back now into my gateway and save that and then we go into configure OPC connections quick client and we drill down into the OPC UA server devices E1240 unit ID 0, Modbus AI 0 and create a subscription to that. We see good unspecified 0 and I'm also going to create a subscription for the unscaled one. Okay. Now I have a signal generator connected to channel 0. At the minute it's sitting at 0. If I change that to 10%, I see a crazy value here and bad unspecified here. So one common thing with Modbus devices, if you go into edit and go into the advanced properties and reverse the word order, save those changes, connect it now, back in here and I'm sitting currently at 10%. I've got that value okay. 
and I'm just gonna hit refresh read on that I'm going to 25 percent 50% 75% 90% 100% I'm just going to set that on auto step now so it's going to scale through the values and we need to investigate this one here because it is not giving us any value back so just go in and double check the addresses Ah, uh, there's my mistake. So it's not a holding register, it's an input register. You went 16. Save that. And back into the gateway. And once that's connected now, we see that scaling up. So if I jump into the designer now and create a new folder, call it E1240. And go to my OPC UA server devices E1240 unit ID 0. And if I bring in that tag into the gateway and bring that tag as well, so if I then bring this onto the screen as an LED display and bring this one on as well. Now what we can do is edit this tag, this is the raw value coming back in and go into numeric and set a linear scale going from 0 to 100, no we want 65, 536 and we want to scale that from 0 to 100, ok that, now these two should be very close to each other as it's ranging through. And of course this is bringing it through in percentage, which is what my signal generator is generating. So we're at 50%, 12 milliamp. Um, I'm just going to slow it down a bit here. So we're at 4 milliamps, so we should be zero or very close to it. 5.6 milliamps is 10%. 8 milliamps is 25%. 12 milliamps is 50%. 16 milliamps. 75%, 18.4 milliamps, 90%, 20 milliamps, 100%. I'll put that back in the auto step. Now, of course, if this was coming, for example, from a pressure transducer and the range of the pressure transducer was, uh, let's say, 0 to 16 bar, then, of course, you'd come in here and set up a scaling for that. So this would then be reading from your pressure transducer as a scaled value.